So for a wall or like a rock that you don't want the player to walk through, make a new object, make a sprite, and let's say you want to make a wall. So for example, I'm going to call this wall. And I'm also going to show you how you can use multiple animations in the same object to create multiple different kinds of walls. So I'm going to get my first wall and I'm going to add a second one. And this is just going to be an end. And this is all we need. Now press apply and drag in the wall. So I can then control drag on this and this will duplicate it. And over here where it says animation, I can change this to one and now it's got the end. And so now I can just make my wall out of one object instead of loads. And also for the collisions, I can just use this again. So control drag on it. Bam. So if I play this now, there you go. We don't walk into it. It's that simple. Now for a background, we can add a new object, go into tiled sprite, and I'm just going to call this wood floor, choose an image. And here we can choose the height and width of it. I'm just going to leave this at default. Actually, let's change it to 64. So now we can drag this out and it will just repeat the pattern. So I can drag this to be the size of the screen. And here we go. But of course, everything's behind it. And so we can just change the Z order of this. I like to make my backgrounds minus one, just so everything is in front of it. And here we go. So you can use this for floors of interiors of houses, for grass outside, and for like for rocks for the collisions. And if you wanted like plants on the ground that you didn't want to walk, uh, walk into, then you can just not use a collision. It's that simple. I hope this helped you. Have fun. Mm -hmm.